Kofun susu uchu a go Saizen dan no uchu a do Kono te ni suka muyo Suton kani wa red to die Chimpun kan wa na red to die I can't get no satisfaction Ta ikutsu wa Ishi ni naru Omu kute ochi chahu ma e ni Waku waku no Hane hiro ke suki no Sekai e ikau Kelse no da wa Waku sare te mama Yare re kundu mu Kabe ubu chi aburu Ima de gen kai ta ba Sekebe he no he no ka ba Mutiki no ori ga Soka the ma te iru Do gun ba ho Supa zi no sa ma mo te ma ke I burnt through so many So many shields just to do that Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome Back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Last time we can okay one moment give me a, give me just just a, a hot minute here oh give me just a hot minute to do this come on what is there last time <laughs> We wandered the countryside, getting shrine after shrine after shrine, and I promised... Also, we're currently in the middle of a giant snowbird, but it's impossible to tell that because the, the quest was very vague. Uh, what, what else did we do? Oh yeah, and I promised that I would sing uh, some Japanese songs this episode, which, forgive me with some of the high notes, uh, the, the Goron voice that I did last episode, I forgot how much it really takes out of my throat, like... My my throat was was stinging after that, so I I ended up just find like spending an hour to get extra Korok seeds that I wouldn't have normally gotten because my throat was completely shot. Uh, so I some of the high notes I definitely failed there. Also, I could not shield bash, but I did do the, some Japanese. I hit some notes, and uh, this episode we are going to be exploring? Question mark. I this this episode is a little bit weird because. Last video, we had a very clear plan of what was going to happen, or at least I did. We were going to finish the uh, the snowbird quest. We were going to find the really cool. Where where even was that shrine? Where was that? Uh, it would be. We entered here. It, oh yeah, it's there. Okay, yeah, it, it was deep within the mountain. It was very cool. Uh, Monolith Soft, who made the map, uh, had a very nice shout out to uh, Valak Mountain from Xenoblade Chronicles there, and it was just it was just a great episode all around. We did a lot of cool stuff, and we had a great direction for an exploratory episode, which I always like. Now, this episode is not that episode because what we're doing this episode is uh, just exploring. We're, we're going all the places where we have not gone in Heber Mountain, except for here, and seeing if we can find any more shrines, which means I'm probably going to be cutting around in this episode. Most of what you hear me talk about is pr possibly going to be, uh, not post-commentary, but it's going to be uh, just kind of cut and, cut and paste everywhere. Uh, it's going to be a little bit weird. I don't know why I mind like that. It's going to be a little bit odd, uh, but hopefully we can find something in this area besides bears and besides just more snow. So yeah, uh, starting starting here, I have a feeling there might be a shrine there, so we're, we're just going to kind of take the normal path. Also, oh, wait a minute. There's an entire... Oh, there's an entire mountain here, which almost definitely has a shrine on it. So we're probably going to be going there too. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of weird exploration. Oh, that was a sick jump. A lot of exploration, a lot of me not knowing where I'm going, and probably a lot of me talking about random topical things, which 
have no bearing at, to what I am doing at the present. Okay, so we need to hang a left here. And not freeze in the water. Oh, I forgot. This this water doesn't freeze. For some reason, we've been here multiple times now. And the water doesn't... It doesn't freeze us to death like normal water... Normal uh, blizzard water does. Okay, let, let's just fly up. Let's head over here. Again, I feel like there could be a shrine here. Not quite sure. But yeah, I was saying that, uh... I, I was saying that the... The... Goron voice kind of killed my voice. And I guess... I guess that's kind of to be expected, considering all the stuff that my... My poor mouth has been going through lately. Immediately, everyone thinks about Okami whenever I say I'm, I'm sick. I'm not actually sick. I just have a couple of weird conditions going on right now. Um, which don't really affect my, like my physical state they're just they just add some layers of pain onto it um i need my wisdom teeth out which means that eventually the channel might be going on a short hiatus because of that just because of the recovery time it's not anything abnormal just i need my wisdom teeth out and i unfortunately was was born with the full allotment of four wisdom teeth uh, but I also I also have this condition in my jaw, like my left jaw so socket, called TMJ, uh, and it's it's a very minor case if you're at all familiar with TMJ. Uh, it was I, I even know it caused it. It was because I was snacking on um, raw <laughs> raw uncooked pasta, and that actually dis completely destroyed my my jaw socket. Um, and so I, I'm currently suffering from that. Basically, it means whenever I open my jaw all the way, there is some pain. Um, and I, I'm waiting for that to get out of the way. I also, like, completely <laughs> blew out my knee, which is great. But yeah, a lot of weird conditions. Not like sickness conditions. Just things that, that tack on extra, extra inconvenience when I'm just going about doing my normal thing. Let's see, have we gone? We have not gone there. I doubt that there is... I doubt there's a shrine anywhere here, but I think what we're going to do is kind of snake our way this way and then go up and then fly across and then explore the west summit. Because I, I thought that area was out of bounds because we, we have a mountain over here, which is like the same thing, and that's out of bounds. But apparently this isn't. So we, uh, we, can, we can go there, we can explore, and we can uncover shrines. And also we cannot get rid of the ice because I know ice either has really lame chests... Korok seeds, which my mask will tell me if they are, or enemies, so it's it's almost never worth it to do that. They could be shrines too, we found that as well, but it's it's usually not, and the shrine sensor would go off. Okay, so we're going up this way, probably going to ignore, probably going to ignore the enemies here. Oh, whoa. Do you see this? There are, there are three silver enemies here. That is crazy. Okay, well, let's... Let's do this. I, I saved this for a reason. I made this for a reason. I made mid-level resistance. And then we just equip our stealth gear. Perfect. I am invisible. I am Batman. Okay, and then our plan is go down and then circle back up. So I can totally just do this. Bye. You can't arch me. Not if I'm flying. What was that blue thing? What was that blue thing over there? You see that? Oh, it's a rhino. Of course it's a rhino. Okay, so... It doesn't look like there's anything here. So I guess we'll climb to the top of that peak because it invariably has a Korok seed on it. And then work our way... Back up to, uh... The other... The other mountain. How'd I know? The mountain peak has a Korok seed on it. Because they all do. They, seriously, all of them have Korok seeds on it. It's a little bit absurd. And I, I love it. I, I love it when games have stupid glitches like that. Just glitches in general excite me. As, as you guys know, this one video, um, which always holds a special place in my heart for this, uh, it's, it's a video of Proton John's. I, I forgot what he called it, but basically it was the um, the Nightmare Super Mario uh, Advance 3 where he he accidentally kicked the cartridge before uh, streaming it, and the game started melting as he played. 
Is this really not a shrine? This looks just like a shrine. Um, and the game started melting as he was playing it, and he had a, uh, a game design student with him that was explaining what was happening um, as the game melted. It was really cool. And you are not a shrine. Funny thing, that. There. I need to place it there because there are some slopes below us that we haven't been to that I need to explore. However, I, I don't want to have to climb all the way back up, especially since Revol Revolve's Gale's on cooldown! Oh! Um... Oh, I, I didn't want to pick a fight. Oh, you have ice arrows. Oh, that's not good. Whoop! Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Drew's protection. Oh, boy. That's going to deal a lot of damage. That might insta-kill me. Uh, let's get some gear on. Uh, what was my... Oh, yeah. I actually forgot what my build was. Uh... Oh, that was a bad hit. Oh, it's been a while since I've played or practiced. What you guys don't see is I actually practice off screen quite often. Get underneath him. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. Yes. Okay. Whew. Yeah, that was pretty sloppy of me. I will admit. It was, uh, in fact, very sloppy. I need to farm Lynels, uh, because their shields are much better than what you get. I love when I do that. They're much better than what you get, uh, when you do tests of strength. The test of strength shields are actually really bad. Okay, those are gonna move. Got that. Got that. And got that. It's gonna have to change you. I'm gonna shoot you in a place that I should not be shooting you. All in the name of... Get, killing you before you even get up off the ground? Will that work? Uh, not quite. Ah! Stupid menus. And... Dead. That was kind of slow, but... I mean... I killed him. So far, my loot... I guess I can break with this. My loot has been... Gems? A boss? And Korok seeds like crazy? It, which is starting to make me worry that there is actually nothing, no shrine here. Which is odd, because it's a, such a giant area of the map. But it's, it's starting to look like that, unless they reward me at the very end of this. But also the odds of, the odds of what you're looking for being the, exactly the last thing you find aren't that good. So unless this, there is a shrine quest located here i'm kind of starting to worry that there's no there isn't going to be a huge reward for exploring this this one has a chest inside of it which probably contains garbage how'd i guess it contains garbage i would like to point out that on every single summit in the the hebra west summit there is a Korok Seed. Also, my Korok Seeds have gotten bugged in that they no longer play the the Korok sound effect whenever you find them. Apparently, as you you veer towards 100 and or 450 Korok Seeds, the game starts to melt. Whoa. Going back behind the hot spring... There's a little cave in here. Can I go behind this? No. But there's a cave which has four rusty shields. If you ever really needed rusty shields in your life, right here. This is for all you rusty shield lovers out there. People who rock the rusty build. Like the best build in the game because you crit every attack. Because your weapon breaks every attack. Come back here and you can get rusty shields. I found a, uh, a frost talus. I guess that's good? Question mark? I, I'm kind of set for money. But I guess I'll kill it real quick. You know, just like, like this. Do to do. <laughs> and you're dead?
beautiful Hebra Falls and the Hebra Headwaters. There's bound to be something interesting here, like... Is that a T-posing? Ha! <laughs> it's a T-posing, uh, Liz Alphos. <laughs> that is not supposed to happen, nor is that normal, because that is a T-posing ice breath Liz Alphos. <laughs> Yes, we're replacing the old picture. Boot that old picture out of there. None can beat the glory, the majesty, the awe-inspiringness of the T-posing Lizalfos. Will it even attack me if I come close? Because it's kind of a T-posing Lizalfos. I really hope it doesn't. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, wait. Oh, man. I, I have a great idea. Uh, if I get Majora's Mask on... I can just walk right up. <laughs> uh, this this about uh, <laughs> this about sums up <laughs> how the game is acting. The further I get in into it, I I thought we wouldn't run into this issue, but we are. The T posing Lazalfos. It isn't even watching me. Okay, if I take off the mask, <laughs> it still does it. Oh, this is great. I can sneak strike it. Oh, the possibilities are endless. But really, I, I just want a selfie with it. I, I want to take a selfie with this thing. Like, it's it's putting its arm over my shoulder. Can I do that? Uh, zoom out. Uh, zoom out. Oh, look at it. Yeah, that's a good pose to have. Uh, hmm. Not sure about this one. This is a bit weird. Uh, no, I, I just want the picture. Um, keep old picture. Yeah, I just wanted a picture. Okay, now can I kill it? Oh, I can. Oh, it didn't even have a chance at life. It was born in that pose. And then it's it's just the, the irony that the only thing that would get it out of its, its pose was death. It could only live once it had died. That's That's a sad statement for life, and I'm so glad I went here. Uh, you guys, please tell me, if, if you guys come here and also see that the line, or not the line, no, the Lizalfos is T-posing, that'd be great. That would make my day, just to know that there's just a random T-posing line, or Lizalfos, I can't get the two straight, it would, it would just warm my heart, and it would, it would make me very happy. Okay, but it looks like most of what's left, oh, it's not even up here, most of what's left is just, uh, Korok seeds. I would assume there's one more shrine, at least. Okay, let me track down this Grog seed. Oh, shrine! Shrine! Where is it? Oh, it's this way. Oh, I have hope! I was starting to get worried that the, the fruit of my labor for this episode was not going to yield a shrine. And I, I was starting to get really worried because, looking at this, we've explored... I mean, there's a huge patch that we haven't explored, but I have been exploring for quite a bit without any anything other than a Korok seed. But now, weird little thing jutting out of the rock there. But now, we have a shrine. Hopefully it's not a super tricky shrine. I'm guessing it's... Actually, I'm gonna guess it's right underneath us, actually. Because it's start... Oh, okay. There's also a Korok. Uh, Korok... Korok or Shrine, Korok or Shrine, it's a, it's a very difficult debate that I have with myself frequently. Yeah, and now we've lost the Shrine. Yeah, it's, it's definitely inside of this mound. Maybe we get down here and we can see it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna track down the Korok seed and then we'll, we'll jump on in there. Uh, maybe it's in there. I, I should consider that. Uh, can we get in there without dying? Not well. Oh, we're hurting. We're hurting for certain. Get in. Get out. Landmill Co Shrine. God. Yeah, that wasn't fun. That hurt quite a bit. Okay, I need to find the Squawk Seed though. Landmill Co's blessing. Huh? Th does that mean this was a shrine quest? That's rather odd. A gold rupee. I won't complain, but that—that's really weird. That means this was a shrine quest. 
which we have not heard high nor ha tail of, if that's the, the euphemism. Interesting. Well, that was our one trying for the episode. Awesome. Also, uh, how many? We have 115 trines now, and this is episode 117. And I, I noticed how consistently we're getting them. It's almost to the point where we've gotten one shrine every episode. I mean, we haven't actually gotten one shrine every episode, but it's it's as if we did. We got we have gotten an average of one shrine every single episode, which is pretty cool. It, it means that I'm making progress every single video. Even if some if some videos are slower than another, I'm slowly chipping away at the monolith. <laughs> you see what I did there? That is Breath of the Wild. Thank you so much for watching. I was really startled by that. It looked like a giant moose. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please tell your friends about my channel. It's, it's really cool. We've been doing this for four years, moving into our fifth. And I am, I have no, I have no hopes of stopping. Or no, no inkling of stopping. Alright, next episode, next time in Breath of the Wild, we are going, really? A forest dweller's bow? Here? Okay. We are going to be, uh, continuing our exploration. If we look at the hero's path, which we haven't even filled out yet, I think it requires 300 hours before it starts erasing the beginning, and we haven't even played that. Um, I am going to be uh, exploring the rest of the Tabantha Tundra, places we have not been, once again, not that area, in the hopes that we can uh, uncover a few more shrines and get that much closer towards this being our 120th. We have 115 shrines now 114 which means that uh i fell off this thing which means that we're almost done and we're that much closer to getting our 120th and leaving and going to hyrule castle and beating the game all right if there are any shrines that i've missed please comment about them otherwise join me next time when we will hopefully find another shrine see you guys then Oh, and this, we have 449 Korok seeds right now. This is the 450th. Once we get this, we will be exactly halfway. At episode one, what is it, 118? We will be halfway done with all of the Korok seeds. And with style, 450, baby. Which means 